Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be filming a holiday party get ready with me. I have my company's Christmas party tonight. It's a little bit fanciest dress up at a nice restaurant. I want to do like classic glam. I'm not going to do any shadow. I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to do a big liner, some black liner, fluffy, pretty lashes. I've really been going back and forth with doing a red lip or not. I'm not sure. I can't decide. I hate wearing red lipstick, but I think with the outfit I'm wearing, it's like all black and then a little bit of silver. I think that a red lip would look really pretty pretty so I don't know I hate wearing red lipstick so um I'll have to see we'll see as we go because everything else is gonna be very neutral yeah if you're interested in watching this and getting ready with me I'm gonna do it a little bit chatty without any further ado let's get into the makeup so I washed my face um probably like three hours ago now before I went to the mall and I did an exfoliating treatment on it so it's nice and exfoliated it feels very smooth but i didn't put any moisturizer or anything on it so i'm going in with the josie moran whipped argan oil face butter ultra hydrating i've really been liking this lately it's really really nicely hydrating so i'm just going to apply a generous amount of that because i want my skin to be very healthy and this product works amazingly to make it look really healthy and very plump which is how I like my face to look. It feels so nice. My skin feels so nice and hydrated. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus. So I want to add a little bit of a glow and then I'm going to add this number seven airbrush away for minimizing primer on my T-zone, mostly around my nose because my makeup always creases so, so badly around my nose so i'm focusing this charlotte tilbury one mainly on areas that i want to glow so my chin i like to glow my cheeks and then i'll work it up to my forehead as well but i won't be putting this near my nose or in that area so i'm putting this pore minimizer on top of my nose and on both sides pretty generously and then in between my brows as well i get like just some gunking so i find that a pore minimizer smoothing primer helps with that but around the nose I always pretty much have to do or it will crease I don't know why but I get really bad creasing around my nose now that all of my primers are blended out I'm going to go in with foundation and today I'm going to use the physicians formula the healthy foundation with a brightening complex mine is in the shade lc1 i've actually only used this once before which would normally scare me going in with kind of a brand new foundation for an event but i really really liked it i wore it to work the other day it was super healthy looking it was long lasting um i liked the color match everything about it so we're going to go in with this and hope for the best and i'm putting on not too much but a decent amount just because it is an event and any excuse to get glam um, I'm gonna take so we have a little bit of breakouts happening that I'll need to cover up but that's not a problem I can do that with concealer and I'm just going to bounce this out with my beauty blender and that is how the foundation looks like applied looks pretty good did a good job of covering not too thick and heavy a good color match I think and it's really luminous it's not too mattifying so now I'm going to go ahead and apply perfection collection concealer on all of my breakout spots I've made this concealer last so long it's my favorite concealer to cover breakout spots and um you can only get it in England and I got it when I was living in England last fall and I've made it last more than a full year so that's pretty good if you ask me. Um, I only use it on like big breakouts when I'm doing full coverage makeup so that's not too often but I really really like it for that. And then for my under eyes I'm going to go in with a little bit of this just to add some more coverage. And then the Too Faced Born This Way sculpting concealer which is kind of a little bit of a yellow darker shade for me so I'm going to apply this one like that a bit and then I'm going to apply a little tiny bit of the Too Faced one closer to my eyes in my inner corner see it's very yellow 
so I don't like taking it too much and I'm gonna take it a little bit here too because I find it really smoothing in that area and now we're going to blend this out hopefully I don't need to apply anymore because I don't want it to look cakey but I want everything covered so We'll see what it's looking like after I blend it all and then I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the MAC pressed powder in NC10 and the rest of my face with NC15. My powder is on, now I'm going to go into this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette and I'm going to take the bronzer, which is more of a cool tone bronzer, so I'm using this a little bit more to shadow and contour, not really contour, but just a little bit cooler and then I'm going to go in with a warmer Dior bronzer afterwards. So I'm taking this on the Sephora Pro Airbrush 5.5. This is my favorite face brush ever. I use it for my face powder and then I use it for my bronzer as well so it blends nicely so I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out I'm going to take it on my cheeks take it on my forehead really try and sculpt out my face nicely we're going to be in like dim lighting so if I go a little ham with the bronzer and the contouring I won't be mad at it and I just kind of feel like it for a night out for a event I want to be nice and sculpted and bronzed so Now I'm going to go in with the warmer one, which is this Dior bronzer. I always forget what this is called. It's a glow powder in 002, but it's a bronzer. Anyway, it's really warm, really pretty. It has some pink tones in it, a tiny bit of a sheen shimmer situation. So I'm going to take that over top of everywhere I just applied. And I like to bring it super far up into my temples, into the hairline to make it really nice and blended and a little bit seamless even though we're going very heavy-handed so to bake the bronzer i'm going in with the laura mercier translucent powder and just taking it right there where i want the bronzer to kind of end to give a chiseled effect and i take that down onto my chin as well and i don't know where my favorite highlighter brush is so i found this real techniques one which used to be one of my go-to's my favorite favorite is from morphe but i can't find it anywhere so we're going to use this one which does the job it's fine and I'm taking the Bobbi Brown mini highlighting powder in pink glow super pretty it's a little bit dark for me so I'm going to go on top of that with the Fenty kilowatt highlighter in lightning dust and fire crystal pretty much going to mix these three do the nose highlight above the cupid's bow or I guess on the cupid's bow and then the normal highlighting spots and I like when I don't do shadow to go in with my highlighter like in my eye area so I'm going to do that as well usually just mix these Fenty ones together so that's what I'm gonna do Yeah, went very ham with the highlighter, but I think it's super, super pretty. And then I'm going in with the YSL Blush Volupt in number five. This is a really pretty Barbie pink kind of color. It's my favorite kind of blush shade to wear. And this one's not too pigmented, so I like using it so I can be a little more neutral. I like going in with blush last to blend the two together, the bronzer and the highlighter, so it's not like a neoprene, neoprene? The ice cream that's like brown and pink and white. Um, we don't want it to look like that, so I like going in with blush last to blend it all very nicely together. I love how I say this blush isn't that pigmented and then I go in with so much of it. Sorry, not sorry. I am such a blush lover. Okay, my camera shut off so I just let it cool down while I did my brows. I just went in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. Um, yeah, so I did the brows. Now I'm going to go in with a thicker graphic liner, uh, just a black liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. This is my go-to holy grail eyeliner and I'm going to not talk through this part because your girl isn't best at winged liner so I really need to concentrate to ensure that I look decent so not talking 
wings are on um, my liners drying out a little bit so the wing it's really hard to do on this side it kept catching and dragging but I think they're pretty even and will look okay once lashes are on I like this side a lot better but what can you do now I'm going to go in with mascara I'm using the benefit roller lash and then lashes and I'm using the Ardell foam ink wispies demi wispies these are some of my favorite lashes they are easy to apply they're not too dramatic and not too natural so these are my faves let's uh pray that this goes well lashes are on that was honestly the easiest time i've ever had applying lashes so um so happy with that they look so good so pretty and that was so easy to do grab my two lip options the first one is maxed out by ColourPop, super bright fuchsia and then the second one is the kate moss rimmel 110 it's like a coral red okay so i went off camera and discussed with my mom and i'm going to go with the bright fuchsia i've worn this color once or twice before it and I just feel really good and confident in it. Damn. Okay, and that is the lip color. It's coming across a little red on camera, so I definitely like that. I feel comfortable in it. It's really matte, so it doesn't feel like it's going to slip and slide around. And yeah, that is the finished holiday glam uh, party makeup look. I think it's super pretty, nothing um, too crazy, but it's pretty and glam, uh, which is the point of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm going to get either my boyfriend or my mom to briefly film my outfit for you guys. So I'll put that clip in here. I have my outfit on. My boyfriend's here. He's helping me film. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> and I don't know how I'm going to show my whole fit. So my top and my bottoms are from a boutique kind of style near me so I can't link them down below unfortunately but I will link my shoes if I can find them my shoes are from spring this is just like a frill mock neck turtleneck situation long sleeve black and then my pants are these like silvery fun silver black thing and then my shoes are very fun as well they're like black and silver speckled some large heels and then i'm being super extra and also wearing this faux fur coat from forever 21 i can link this down below as well this is the outfit very extra and that's all that i have for you thank you guys so much for watching and as always i hope that you had an absolutely amazing day bye